in this video I am going to discuss about determination of wavelength of monochromatic light by Newton's ring Newton rings experiment okay now let us see experimental arrangement to determine wavelength of monochromatic light by Newton's rings that is it consists of a, a glass plate above glass plate a plano convex lens is placed and here a wedge shaped air film is formed with thickness t and it is having refractive index mu is equal to 1 because it is the air film and a monochromatic source that is here we are using sodium light and a lens is placed it is L1 and here a plain glass plate which is placed at 45 degree angle and from monochromatic source a light waves incident on the glass plate and when this monochromatic light incident on the glass plate which is kept at a 45 degree angle here part of the light gets reflected and here a wet shaped air film is formed and these reflected light waves incident here and this is the direction of the incident light wave and when they incident on the wet shaped film they get reflected back to the glass plate and here we observe these reflected light waves in the microscope this is the experimental setup and we are going to observe Newton rings in the microscope okay this is all about experimental setup of the Newton rings okay now let us determine wavelength of monochromatic light that is here we are going to write diameter for the mth mth dark fringe that is it is given by the diameter of the m one ring is d m1 and is given by d m1 is equals to square root of 4 times m1 lambda into r or we can write it as a d m1 square is equals to 4 times m1 into lambda into r and let us denote this equation 1 ok now let us write diameter for the m tooth dark band that is the diameter of the m tooth ring is d m2 and is given by is given by d m2 is equals to square root of 4 times m2 into lambda into r or we can write it as a d m2 square is equals to 4 times m1 into lambda into r 
and let us denote this equation by 2 okay now let us subtract equation 2 and equation 1 then we are going to get d m2 square minus d m1 square is equal to 4 m1 lambda into r minus 4 m1 this is m1 this is m2 4 m2 lambda into r minus 4 m1 lambda into r here 4 lambda r is common so i am going to take it as a common then we are going to get d m2 square minus d m1 square here m2 minus m1 i am going to write here m2 minus m1 which is equal to 4 times r into lambda here i am going to write only lambda so i am going to take 1 by 4 times r in denominator okay let us call this equation number 3 okay now let us calculate d m2 square minus d m1 square divided by m2 minus m1 experimentally that is let us float a graph of d m2 square d m square versus m is plotted then is plotted then we are going to get this is the graph along y axis we are going to take d m square and along x axis we are going to take m value and here I am going to take m1 and it is m2 value and here it is t m1 square and this is the d m2 square and here we are going to get a straight line now I am going to draw a slope and here slope is equal to d m2 square minus d m1 square that is d m2 square minus d m1 square divided by m2 minus m1 m2 minus m1 so here in equation 3 we can replace this value by slope then we are going to get lambda is equal to 1 divided by 4 times r into slope this is the wavelength of the monochromatic source.